Nick. What? Listen to me. Tell me, tell me. I found something in the woods. Which find? A dead body. What? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's really creepy. Are you sure it's dead? Yes. Let's it. find it. Okay. Yeah, I was walking around the woods, and then I was—I saw this guy laying there, and he was completely still, and it looked like he was dead. He's not like that. Look, it's the body. If he's dead, he probably won't respond. I've never touched a dead guy before. I don't know. He looks pretty dead. Okay. We'll bring you in. We'll bring you inside. We're gonna okay. bring this guy inside. We gotta be kind, okay? Come on, come on. Grab a stick. I'll, I'll show you the way. <laughs> now, Mister, before I let you inside, you can't steal anything and you can't hurt us. Okay. You can't. Hey, you can't leave your hobo grease anywhere either. Cause we I, don't, I don't know how many. Turns. Don't know how many years you've been out there, and you can't. <laughs> Okay, now welcome in. So, who are you? Tell me about yourself. My name is Lee Gunderson. I like Saudi. I've been living in the woods for 30 years. I drink the waters of the streams and eat the flesh of the fish. Fire! Since I've been living for a long time around this earth, little boys, I have lots of stories to tell. What here? Yes! Yes, yes, tell us your story. Yes. Yes. Very well. Will you tell? This is the year 1958, the same year I went into the woods. You see, I had a very persistent landlord. I was overdue by three months when it came to my rent. She came in and said, Lee, you gotta pay your rent, or else you're out of here. I said no, I had no money, I spent it all on sardines and salting crackers. She said, alright, I have to kick you out. I got nervous, I had no money, no relatives to live with. I did, I did the only thing I knew how to do. I took a screwdriver and put it through the right temple. I had to go through the fire escape, because I knew that cops were going to be here soon. After that, I just looked towards the woods and I ran. I ran, and that's where I stayed until now. Wow. So what happened next week? You can call me Uncle Lee. Okay, Uncle Lee, tell us what happened. Nothing much happened when I got there. You know, when I first got there though, I found a little home to stay in a, in a little like hollowed out tree. So I'm just there eating some of the food I got with my utensils. It turns out I'm next to some kind of big ravenous beaver. <coughs> I tried to come get my food, but we fly and I eventually like, kill him. Holding his head, he had thoughts. You ain't trying to get it, I ain't with it. Stop talk. See us a run, that was done. Now we out. Get away now. Can't wait, stop, stop. Young high head gon' pop. Team 600 taking off like a rock. Big X D P. Bank roll, shorty can't fit it in the wallet. Whole team lurking, everybody gon' pop. We do this, do that, they cop. Tell you. I eat beavers for the next week. Wow, you sure fought a big beaver, Uncle Lee. Oh. Uncle Lee, what happened next? <laughs> Nothing much happened after that big beaver fight, I tell you, Jimmy. Do you believe in magic? No! no we don't believe in magic. Well, I tell you what, I didn't have a job, I had no money. Eventually, I was gonna starve, I ran out of beaver meat. So, I'm walking through the woods that day, right? It's how I exercise. I find this cup on the ground, you know? Nothing really mattered to me. I didn't have anything of value, so I found this, I'm like, wow, this is cool. So I set it outside my tree trunk hole. So, every day when I woke up, boom, there was money there. I was like, wow, I don't need a job, I can just get this money. I told you, having that cup is a blessing. Every day, coins in the cup.
spent it, it every day on sardines and lottery tickets. Every day. But, uh, but one day, the, you know, the cup money fairy came. So she says, I gave you a chance, Lee Gunderson, and you're just wasting on crap. So you mean nothing to me. No more is the money gonna come into the cup, okay? Get a job, whatever, but I'm out of here. <laughs> wow, Uncle Lee. Magic is really real! <laughs> what happened next, Uncle Lee? After the ferry left, I had to make some sort of money somehow or else I was gonna starve. So I s just started collecting sticks. Now, these are normal sticks, and we know that's that. But I claimed that they were magical sticks, and I started selling them on the street. Now, I didn't get any customers in the first week, but one day, this little angel came along and bought one for $100. Now, the next day, he broke his by accident, so he bought another one. And this cycle kept on repeating. This kid kept me alive forever. He turns out he stole his purse some money and kept on buying sticks because he believed that they're magical. Turns out one day he tried to eat me and choked to death, so I got scared and just ran back to the woods. And yeah, I quit the business. And what happened next? What happened next, ugly? <laughs> what? Well, the winter is approaching, so I had to, I had to uh, you know, stay warm somehow. So I spent all the money I made from these sticks on butter. Now you might be asking yourself, Uncle Lee, why you buying butter? Well, my plan was to hibernate by putting on a ton of weight with this butter, right? So my plan was to get as much weight as I could and sleep through to survive the winter because I had no real strategy. And turns out it worked. You guys woke me up and, I'm an, and now I'm an emaciated sack of asparagus. Wow, Uncle Lee, for an emaciated sack of asparagus, you were sure asleep for a long time. Well, boys, I appreciate this stay, but I don't really want to be here anymore. I'm as fleeting as the wind, a no man of the no man's land. I'll be on my way now. Wow, it looks like Uncle Lee just disappeared. Maybe he was never even real at all. You think he was a ghost? I don't know, but ghosts don't talk and they That's don't true. tell stories. That's true. But I could say I at least learned one thing from Uncle Lee, and that is to always try your best. Wow. Yeah. You know, if I learned one thing, it's that you should never give up on your dreams. Yeah. The way Uncle Lee just sold that boy the sticks, he taught me so much about <laughs> life. Thank you, Uncle Lee. Thank I wish you, I, Uncle I wish you never left. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> My It went into the woods. We it wouldn't be three years because Wait. <laughs>